Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Unique Tarot. This is going to be a should you take your past person back reading, okay? We're gonna, I got all the zodiac signs in here. We're gonna pull and see what the zodiac sign is up. Okay, let's see which one. Oh, this one fell out, so Cancer. Cancer is up, okay? I'm gonna pull from the tarot deck, get a little reading on your situation, and then at the end, I'm gonna pull from one of my little um, messages I made to let you know if you should take this person back or not. It'll say yes, no, maybe, fuck no, a year from now, you know. So we'll see. What's the messages for my cancer, please? What is the messages for my cancers? Cancers, what's the messages for my cancers, please? For the Cancer Spirit, God's Angels Universe, should Cancers take their past person back, Spirit? Should my Cancers take their past person back? Should my Cancers engage with their past person? Should my Cancers take their past person back, Spirit? Should my Cancers take their past person back? We have the Five of Swords. So it could be done with the air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person played a lot of mind games. This person was very much... Um, with the shit, basically. The Five of Swords is somebody that wants to win at all costs. They play a lot of mind games. They lie. They do whatever they can to win. This person is all about winning. What's the what's the messages for my cancers? We have the Page of Cups. We have the Tower. We have the Knight of Wands. And the Ace of Cups. So, you could get a surprise apology from this person. A surprise message with this person apologizing to you here they want to come in passionately with the knight of wands you could be dealing with a uh, water sign like yourself cancer scorpio pisces or a a fire sign um specifically a sagittarius seven of pentacles yeah this person is looking back on the past at their behavior here okay but you could be moving on here what's the five of swords What's the Five of Swords for my cancer? What is the Five of Swords here for? And we have the Page of Wands. Somebody could have been very immature here. Yeah, all about winning and one-upping. And, and so now they want to come in with these messages, but they're, they're pages. They're broken promises here. Somebody wants to come back in to win for their own, for their own selfish reasons here. Okay, Two of Swords. But I feel like you may block this person out. What's the tower? What is the tower for my cancers? What's the tower? We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Wands. So, yeah. I feel like, um... I feel like, Cancer, you've turned your back. you stopped putting in the work to the situation here. And you're looking back on all the, the mind games, the jealousy, the people that are in your relationship here. And you're looking back in the table to turn. You're no no longer willing to invest in this situation. There's too many people in it anyways. With the tower and the wheel of fortune, that's, that's one, two, two major arcanas here. So there was a big shift and a big change here. Okay, now this person wants to come in and fight for you. What's the Knight of Wands? What's the Knight of Wands? Yeah, the justice. This is with the justice in the will. I feel like something is karmically meant to occur here. Somebody was being a player in and out, doing what they want to do, and now the tables have turned. Now you don't care. You're not bothered. You don't care what this person does, and now they want to come in. Yeah, six pinnacles. Okay. Yeah. What's what's the ace of cups? What is this ace of cups? Yeah, something new. You could be dealing with something new, a water sign here. Okay, what's the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles? The Knight of Cups. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Yeah. You could have a lot of options here. Or oh, this person could be daydreaming about you a lot. Are you them? Yeah, the Queen of Swords is here. Okay. The Four of Pentacles and the Sun. And the Queen of Cups. So there's two queens here. Okay. So 
Capricorn, Cancer, I'm getting here. You you have a lot of options here. You have options. You're kind of doing this. You have this new love. Then you have this past person where there was a lot of games. What's the Queen of Swords? What's the Queen of Swords for my Cancers? We have the death. Okay, so things ended here. Yeah, Six of Cups. Somebody from your past here. Cancer. That things may have ended with. There was a breakup. Yeah, Two of Cups could have been a soulmate connection that broke up. Yeah, Ten of Swords that there was an ending with here. Okay. And you could be happy about this ending or this other person is. Okay. You're holding back from this person here. But you kind of want to heal the situation here. Yeah, what, what is over here? What is over here? What is the Seven of Pentacles, Page of Wands? Yeah, King of Wands. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. So we have two queens here. What is this Queen of Pentacles over here? With the King of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, this person could have been juggling. A situation here, and you know that with the High Priestess. The Ace of Wands, yeah. You know that somebody started new, something new here, and they tried to keep that from you with the High Priest. Yeah, the Emperor. Could be a father figure, somebody that you're married to. Okay. You have a lot of options here with that Seven of Cups and all, and these Kings here, yeah, the world. But you put it into that Five of Cups, and now they're disappointed. What is the emperor? Who's the emperor? The ace of swords? Who's the king of wands? What's the king of wands for my cat series? What's the king of wands? The ten of wands, yeah. The king of wands could be somebody that is a cheater, somebody that kind of moves around a lot, yeah. Nine of pentacles, yeah. Somebody that could have been married but was portraying themselves as single. Yep, Ten of Pentacles, I said that, and then the Ten of Pentacles came out. Also, you could be working on your money, getting money here. You could be getting some news about money or something coming in, but yeah, the King of Swords is here. Yeah, Cancer, you, uh, this family situation could have felt like a burden. It could be you or, you or your person who felt like this. You knew this person had an outside person. What's the Wheel of Fortune in the Five of Wands? The Nine of Cups. What's the Wheel of Fortune in the Five of Wands? To the Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody walked away from the arguing, the fighting, the the the, the intervening into their Nine of Cups, their happiness. Yeah, Three of Wands. What's the Three of Wands? They could have relocated, moved. What's the Three of Wands? Yeah, the Two of Wands. Definitely could have been moved on. We have the Cane Man here. And the lovers. What's the lovers here? What's the lovers? The Empress and the Devil. With the Four of Swords. So, you could be, you know. You could be expecting or waiting for a new love to come in here, Cancer. You'll be obsessed. You'll be dealing with a Libra, the Empress. You could be obsessed with this Libra energy. You could feel a soul, a very karmic soul tie to this person, the Empress and the Devil. I mean, the Devil and the Lovers with the Will of Fortune. That is a karmic soul tie here. What's the messages for my Cancers? What is this Empress and the Devil with the Lovers? Empress, the Devil, and the Lovers. Empress, the Devil, and the Lovers. Yeah, the lovers again. Empress, the devil, and the lover, and the emperor. Yeah, this is a very much a three of wands. Yeah, very much the empress again. And the six of pentacles. So this is, could be somebody that you're married to. We have the page of wands. The four of pentacles and the ace of cups. Somebody is holding on to this new love, this new person. Not letting this person go. Yeah, six of swords, seven of cups. Five of Cups. Yeah, somebody's regretful because someone moved on from a situation. Somebody had too many options here. Now they're regretful. Okay, they're they're holding on to this person, but this relationship could possibly be over here. Okay. 
I don't see the three of swords here with your person cancer. I don't see why she can't take this past person back. What's the king of wands and the five of swords? Nine of pentacles. The eight of swords. So cancer take their past person back. So cancer take their past person back. Should cancer take their past person back? We have the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Two of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups. I don't know, this person may may like to juggle here a little bit, Cancers. Yes, yeah, Seven of Swords. Yeah, they lie. They lied about juggling here. Yeah, they couldn't make a decision between two people. Yep, two of cups, three of cups. The high final reverse and the death. They don't want the situation to end for ones. You can have kids and a family with this person. So they don't want the situation to end here. Okay, but it might, it just might be over with here. What's this what's this queen of swords doing over here? What's this queen of swords doing? This Queen of Swords energy, yeah, has walked away and blocked out the situation here. Yeah, Queen of Swords again, they went cold. Yep, the devil and the Five of Pentacles. They're dead set on ending this situation here with you. This Queen of Swords cancer. This Queen of Swords is done. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, they're focused on their money, on, on this, yeah. High Priestess, yeah person could have moved on with a new person and you know that they have here okay or you suspect they have with this high priest yeah this kid the eight of cups is here twice so this person has definitely yeah moved on this person has worked on healing themselves this person can be very psychic very intuitive they've manifested money for themselves and moving i'm hearing just a whole just a whole lot of Good things that's happening there. Eight of Wands in the world. This person has definitely made a decision to move on. Here, Cancers. This person from your past uh, with the Seven of Swords, Five of Swords. You have Page of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and of course, this person with the Seven of Swords, that's never a good look. This person could have been a cheater, a liar. They had a mistress with the High Priestess here. Somebody was married or in a higher level of commitment and somebody had a mistress on the side. Um, just period. And things didn't work out with that mistress. Now somebody may be wanting to come back in and work things out. What's the messages for my cancer? Should they take this past person back? Should my cancer take this past person back here? Should my cancer take this past person back? We have healthy choices, making healthy choices and love and a life, self-love, self-care, and um, being happier. Yeah. Yeah. Stabbed in the back. Yeah. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, and shocking attack. Yeah. Lightning, sudden change, shocking memories. Yeah. This, this, this stab in the back came as a surprise to you. You're making healthy choices just to move on. Should cancer take this past person back? Okay, yeah, mass. We have not showing true feelings, high personified, pretend, dilute, and gaslighting. Okay, we have coffee cup, um, meeting and conversing, savor in the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. We have not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding conversation, call, person boundaries, and both. We have receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on. So I feel like you're moving on. Okay, and I feel like with love call at the bottom of the deck, and addiction, and heart with the key. Yeah, I feel like um, someone wants to express their love to you now that you're moving on. But I feel like that is over. And that you can, should consider it. Because this person likes to juggle. They uh, have multiple women with all these queens here. The two of pentacles, the seven of swords, and all of that. So should you take this person back? It says never, Cancer. You should never take this past person back. Okay? So those are the messages I have for you. I hope it resonated. If you, if it did, leave your comments down in the comment section. And if not, you can still leave your comments, whatever. And um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.
let everyone and anyone know about this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.